What's up guys, Shabon here back with another video and today we're going to talk about iOS 11 beta 2 and some reasons why you should install it. 11 beta 2 fixes some of the problems from the first beta but many of you are still better off just using iOS 10 at this point as I mentioned in the other video of 5 reasons not to install iOS 11 and as I said before the iOS 11 update is it's official, it's no scam or anything and Apple will officially release it for all devices in fall but you don't have to wait until fall just to try it out. I've made a video on how to install iOS 11 beta 2 for free, links will be down below in the description. So there are plenty of reasons to try the new iOS 11 beta on any device, so your testing will also help Apple to improve the final version if you guys didn't know that. It also gives you a chance to test out all of the new features before everyone else does, so that could be also a plus. So I know, as I said before you guys in this video, I'm going to talk about 5 reasons you should install iOS 11 beta 2 in continuation of my previous video that got a lot of views and a couple of dislikes of people saying we knew this already, it was already a beta, blah blah blah, but that video was just the opposite. That video spoke about 5 reasons to avoid iOS 11 beta. There were some good pointers in there too, I don't know why so many people got angry. So maybe this video is what you guys wanted to see. So the first, install iOS 11 beta if you want to improve the final version. So if you're experiencing or if, like you're experiencing a lot of problems, you might want to give iOS 11 beta a shot. The S11 beta lets you try out new features but it also helps Apple to improve the software ahead of time and it also comes with a feedback application where it could go in and then give Apple feedback so the final version could be as smooth as possible. Secondly, you should install iOS 11 beta if you want to record your screen. So the new iOS 11 update comes with a nifty feature that allows you to record your screen. Apple calls the new feature a screen recording feature which they didn't tell us about. It's like a surprise feature and it allows you to take videos of your screen. This could come in handy if you're trying to show a friend how to access something. If you're a tech channel, you do a lot of tutorials, this would be definitely one of the features that you want want to have on your device. The feature is extremely easy to use and you could access it through the control center. If you don't see it, just go into control center settings for easy access. You can also just swipe up, simply tap on the icon, tap it again when you finish and it will be saved to your camera roll. Also, you should install the iOS 11 beta if you have an iPad, meaning install it on your iPad. It makes your iPad 100 times more powerful, but yeah, it improves your multitasking capabilities, improves the speed of the iPad and overall functionality. So if you have an iPad and you want to like turn your iPad into a mini laptop, definitely install the iOS 11 beta too. Another um, reason is install iOS 11 beta 2 for the new control center. So the iOS 11 beta delivers a brand new control center. Some people hate the look, but it's a huge improvement. We have to be honest, it's a huge improvement from the other version found in iOS 10. And we have to give it to Apple for listening to us, letting us access the control center the way it should. So the menu that you get when you swipe up from the bottom of the iPhone or the iPad comes with some awesome customization options. You can now decide what control shows up in the control center menu just like with jailbreak features and also if you go into settings you can toggle different apps on and off so if you are an avid notes user you could put like a shortcut to the notes app in the control center if you want easy access to toggles for text size you could easily add a shortcut to the text size to the control center and if you like there's something you don't want or need you could easily take it out of the control center so apple is not forcing anything onto us we could pick and choose this time you can also 3d touch on these toggles to get even more options while in the control center so that's very very good from apple hats off to them and definitely check out ios 11 beta 2 if you want if you love control center if you if you're always there why not my last reason to install the ios 11 beta 2 is if you want do not disturb while driving so one of ios 11's coolest feature in my opinion is now up and running in ios 11 beta 2 how it works is the new feature it, it's it blanks out your screen while driving so when you enable this feature it prevents you from seeing alerts you don't need to see while driving so this new feature will also send out an auto reply to people texting you telling them you're driving if you need to you can also whitelist selected people so that their message can get through to you the rest of the time your screen will be blank which should help you avoid unnecessary distractions so if you're interested in making your drive a little bit safer in my opinion you should might consider the new ios 11 beta so that's it guys that's five reasons why you should install ios 11 beta 2 if you have a problem with this let me know down below in the 
comment section and also if you want to see my other video five reasons why you should not install ios 11 beta 2 i'll leave that down below in the description it's been your boy siobhan let me know what you think drop a like if you're new subscribe think about subscribing or even just liking if you're not going to subscribe always guys love peace and tweaks signing out